that is a horrifying experience as a physician. Kathleen Cowling has seen young people die by suicide. She's been an emergency physician at Covenant Healthcare since 1995. Cowling isn't surprised to learn the number of suicide attempts among those ages 5 to 18 has doubled since 2007. That, according to the latest Centers for Disease Control findings. We see a lot of intentional overdoses uh, that require admission to the hospital. Cowling tells us the number of suicide attempts continues to climb every year. I know nationally have seen more than a million visits because of suicidal ideation or attempts to emergency departments in the pediatric population. So what can be done to improve these numbers? We talked to an expert to find out. I think we have to keep the dialogue going and I think we have to um, have more services and do some more education and training for both parents and the people in our community. Barb Smith is founder of the Barb Smith Suicide Resource and Response Network. She says if you're in a dark place, it's never too late to reach out for help. Text 741741, which is a national text line, to let them know what's going on in your life and how can we find you some support. Suicide does not have to be an answer and it does not have to be an option. Cowling agrees, telling us she is hopeful that someday soon the trend of suicide attempts will go in the right direction. Make sure we're doing everything in the community to try and make sure the kids are safe and if they need help get the help that they need and hopefully not get bad enough where they end up feeling suicidal and have to come to the ER. Reporting in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM TV5.